I remember watching Couchy do Telos a couple months back and thinking, how does he do so much damage on phase 5 such that the virus barely even comes out at all? He frequently does above 500% in Rage Telos, and sometimes he won't even get a virus at all. So I did what any reasonable person would do. I slowed it down, broke it down, and figured out how he does it. And believe it or not, it's not actually his DPS rotations, it's a lot more his stun rotations. The virus on phase 5 comes out as soon as the bar under Telos' HP reaches halfway. This bar progresses every time Telos attacks you, so it's very simple. If you limit how often Telos can attack you, you will delay the virus. You could probably tell, but the clip you just watched was not couchy. It was me recreating what I'd seen him do in the past. And not only was it me, but it was me with tier 90 weapons and without my tier 99 prayer either. This is in my opinion, the easiest, fastest, most consistent way to deal with phase 5. It helped me a ton in my personal Telos kills, and the thing I like most about it is it's a whole lot more simple than you would think. It doesn't require prayer flicking, it doesn't require anything to be tick perfect, and it still works extremely well. So, let's get into how it works. When phase 5 starts, I'm going to use vulnerability and dragon breath. If I'm on 100% adrenaline, I'll wild magic, but this isn't needed. I'm going to get into the adren beam, sunshine as soon as possible, and then I'm going to use my limitless ability to asphyxiate instantly. After 3 hits, I'm going to cancel my asphyxiate with a deep impact. If you don't have the limitless ability, you can do the exact same thing with an adrenaline potion. If you're wondering why I'm canceling asphyxiate early, the 4th hit of the asphyxiate does not stun and will allow Telos to continue attacking you. As soon as I start my Asphyxiate, I'm going to switch to Deflect Melee, as Telos will not be able to hit me. This greatly reduces the damage I'll take from the minions, which makes it even safer. After my Deep Impact, I'm going to use one more ability. Ideally, it's a Guthic Staff Special or a Wild Magic, before I Reflect the Rock. While Reflected, you still want to be praying Melee, so there's no Prayer Flicking required at all in this rotation. I like to use Revenge here so I can keep my Defender or Shield on, but if you prefer, you can also just release your Detonate and Tsunami with a Staff on. You'll notice that because I charge my detonate within melee distance of Telos, my Deto Tsunami is going to hit Telos as well. Once the minions are cleared, things get even easier. I'm simply going to use the highest damaging abilities I can. Once the minions go down, I'm going to Wild Magic, and you could also use Omni Power here as well. After that, I'm going to take a couple steps back so I'm still inside of my Sunshine, and this is so that I can stay in the Adrenaline Beam even if I get a Rock Fall. I use Deep Impact, and I would normally go into an Asphyxiate there, but because of the Falling Rock, I use Impact while I'm running out of range of the Rock, and then I Asphyxiate afterwards. All the while, I'm Soul Splitting because Telos cannot attack me while stunned. When the virus comes out, I barricade it just to show that you could barricade it if it was not a green virus, but I was lucky in this case so I can just take my shield off immediately, and I'm good to keep going. The breakdown of how to get the most out of this rotation can seem pretty complicated as there are a lot of steps, but when you break it down in its simplest form, as soon as you sunshine, go right into a 3 hit asphyxiate and then follow that up with a deep impact. If you do that, you're off to a fantastic start and you should guarantee yourself a good minion clear and an easy virus clear as well. This is the phase 5 method that has helped me streak all the way from 0 to 999% in rage and it's extremely consistent. If you've got a back beam, the virus might come out a couple seconds earlier, and it's the same to be said with volcanic minions. If you have volcanics, you would sunshine and then anticipate before your 3 hit asphyxiate, and you would also use freedom right before you dead tsunami the minions, but after you use revenge. Outside of those slight changes, it's the exact same rotation every time. A lot of people sent in clips of them struggling with phase 5, and the most common problem I saw was just a lack of stuns on the boss. If you throw your stuns on the boss instead of instantly going after the minions, you'll actually make your minion clear a whole lot easier and you'll buy yourself a whole lot more time to damage the boss too. Before we end off, I want to mention here, this is not the fastest phase 5 method. If you want to implement target cycling and a Saren Godbow special attack and a couple other things, you can actually get even more damage off while stalling the virus. But in my opinion, this is the best phase 5 rotation to learn. It's not incredibly difficult to pick up, it will instantly make a massive difference to your Telos kills, and then once you've mastered it, you can absolutely take it to the next level. That being said, I haven't found the need to change this rotation up in any meaningful way in the last 3-6 to six months. It's been my go-to, and it will likely stay my go-to. Especially when I'm risking orbs, I don't want to do anything tick perfect that I could mess up and lose everything. So anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it helps some of you guys with your phase 5, and I also wanted to mention, it's a lot easier for me to make a quick video like this uh, versus a full on guide to a full boss. So although I will be making a full Solak guide when Solak scaling comes out, I'd expect to see a lot more of this sort of video coming out in the future. Unless you guys don't like it, in which case, well, you will never see one ever again. This could be it! Please! Come on! 
Come on! Don't be like herbs or something, please. In three, in two, in one! Stop it, you stupid rock tails! <laughs> 